everybody. So we have a problem with my watering system and I wanted to share this with you all so that way you don't make the same mistake I did and also to show you what I'm going to use to resolve the problem for now. Excuse me while I try to climb up here. I'm using an old horse. All right, so this weekend I came by here and the, um, what is this? <laughs> the rain gutter was completely full of water um, and it did not drain into the barrel. And we had a lot of rain this weekend and I was kind of disappointed because it was the first time that, you know, this thing can be get really full. And it didn't. Because I used a really fine screen. I remember in my video I had said I used a fine screen and I probably would be in here cleaning this out quite frequently. Well, that's the problem. So, yeah, I don't know if you can see it down there. Sorry for the poor camera work. I'm you know, having to stand up here. So I am going to remove this screen or cut a hole in it or do something because uh, I don't know if I can get this off here the way I did it without. Ah, oh, good, I can push it. So I'm just pushing the screen. It's a real small piece of cut screen that I put in there. I kind of made it to where I could possibly get it out if need be, but uh, anywho, so I'm gonna pull that screen out of there and then I'm gonna show you what I plan to do to catch all the debris. I have to be able to catch the debris because if debris gets caught in the bottom of the barrel and it tries to go through that PVC to feed the chickens water, then obviously that's gonna get clogged and then we have a whole nother mess on our hands because then trying to get all that unclogged from all that PVC is not a good idea. So I'm gonna pull the screen down and then I'll show you what I got. It's not a, it's not a beautiful fix, but it's what I can think of for right now with what I have on hand. Um, yeah, so. <laughs> See, that, that gets way too clogged. It's too fine of a screen for this. And we're under trees, so all that stuff from the trees fall down in there. We'll, we'll probably trim the trees once we get out here, but for now. So my hole isn't too terribly big, so it may, it may just get clogged because the hole is small too, but it may also help keep the bigger debris out and the, the smaller stuff will just fall in there. So let me get my stuff. So I was at Walmart today picking up some milk and whatnot and they had on clearance men's socks. My husband wears uh, dress socks to work. And so I was like, oh, they were only $5 and they had a big old pack of them. So I bought these, they're really stretchy, um, whatever, really long, excuse me, <laughs> really long, like, tube socks. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put it down into, I'm gonna put the sock down into this piece here. And the reason why I'm gonna do it into this piece is so if we have to clean it out, it's a lot easier because this is flexible to pull that. Um, and this does have a, a thing in there so it kicks dirt out if it's connected to a, um, you know, your, your rain gutter system, but uh, that's just, it will allow too much. It's not fine enough of a debris filter. <laughs> so I'm gonna shove this sock down in here, pull it over this lip here. I brought some zip ties with me to zip tie it on and then see if that will help see if that will help allow more water to flow in and then the sock will catch the debris and filter um it might not it might be something i have to change out like a lot more frequent but it's what i can think of to do right now with the limited supplies i mean most of my tools and things like that and stuff all my stuff <laughs> all my random collective junk is in storage so uh, this is just what I came up with. If you guys have any other 
um, ideas of stuff that, you know, could just be laying around or whatever, um, please feel free to put it in the comments below on suggestions how to filter this system out. So that way I'm not having to um, deal with too much debris. And I don't know, I thought about putting something underneath, in between the lid and here, you know, to, I don't know. It's, it's one of those, you know, never done this before. So figuring it out as I go and sharing with you all the problems that I have with the system so that way you don't make the same mistake I do. Maybe you're smarter than me and would never do that in the first place. <laughs> so it is what it is. I'm going to get this on here and then I'll show you exactly how it's fitted. So I don't think I have to zip tie it because that doesn't just fall directly down in there that that um, other uh, you know garbage catcher thing it prevents the sock from falling all the way down to the tube. So I don't think I'm going to need to put zip ties around here to hold this on. Um, I'm just going to not do it for now and then we'll see how this works out uh, before I make it too difficult to remove, I guess. Hopefully we'll get some rain here in the next couple of days uh, to test this out. All I got to do is put a hole in the sock so I can put my pen back in here which holds this, oops, which holds this to that so the wind or whatever else doesn't, you know, because this is adjustable. So, anywho, that is my fix for now, and obviously I'll keep y'all updated on how that works out for us. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully it works out, and I won't have to clean it as much as I think. Um, everyone's asking if we're in our house yet. No, we are not in our house yet. Uh, <laughs> I could spend hours talking about why we're not in our house yet. Uh, I'm just going to say this. It's been a complete clown show. And I, um, I don't know when we're going to be in. We've been told eight different dates and all of them have come and gone. So when we're going to be in our house, that is a whole nother, a whole nother video <laughs> that will probably be several minutes long. And it is what it is. So just keep keep us in your prayers. We are uh, struggling with this builder and the process of all of that. Um, anyway, I pray that y'all are blessed and hopefully this sock situation fixes our issue. Take care and God bless.